Your bill today could have passed back then, but you refused to compromise. Well, I don't, well, I don't think that's a fair reading. Uh, if you'll remember, there was a decision made by the Republicans then that they would not support uh, extending health care to every American. And I regret that, and so did the late Senator Chafee, because he and I had many conversations about that. But those arguments have been really discredited the last 15 years. People know that we can't sustain the course we're on without doing more damage, more uninsured, more people denied the care that their doctors say they need even though they have insurance, driving more doctors to distraction, overworking our nurses. There's so much that has happened that people can see with their own eyes now that I believe that uh, we finally have a consensus to do what we should do. Senator Biden, you said the other day, quote, do you really believe that Senator Clinton can get more than 15 percent of Republicans to vote for health care? What does that mean? No, what it means is that in order to get health care, you're going to have to be able to persuade at least 15 percent of the Republicans to vote for it. And she cannot? No, I, I think it's going to be more difficult unfairly, but I think it's more difficult for Hillary. Hillary, because she has battled the special interest, and she has. But look at the special interest. The special interest with regard to Hillary, they feed on this, you know, this Clinton-Bush thing. It's not Hillary's fault. But the fact of the matter is, it's much more difficult to go out and convince a group of Republicans, I would argue, getting something done that is of a major consequence. I have experience of doing that. I did it on the crime bill. I did it on today. First time we rejected, fundamentally rejected the president's policy. And I'm not suggesting it's Hillary's fault. I think it's a reality that it's more difficult because there's a lot of very good things that come with all the great things that President Clinton did. But there's also a lot of the old stuff that comes back. It's kind of hard. When I say old stuff, I'm referring to policy, policy. Senator Edwards, you said in effect that Senator Clinton's mismanagement of health care meant that 40, 40 million Americans have not had it since 1993. That's a very serious charge. I, I, I didn't use the word mismanagement. I think Senator Clinton actually worked as first lady at that time very hard for health care. Uh, but here's, I listened to this discussion, and this is what I hear. A lot, bunch of people who've been in Washington a long time who think that everything has to be done there. It's like the rest of America doesn't exist. They're going to have a bunch of Washington insiders who sit around tables together, negotiate, compromise, insurance companies, drug companies, lobbyists, and they're going to figure out together, to the exclusion of the rest of America, what should be done about health care. I think we actually need a president who's willing to go to America and make the case for the need for universal health care. And the thing that I have committed to do is the first day that I am president, I will say to the Congress, to myself, to the Vice President, to the members of the Cabinet, if you have not passed universal health care by July of this year, July of 2009, you, lo you, lo you lose your health care. Because there is no excuse for politicians in Washington to have health care coverage when America has no health care coverage. And I, if I, can I add one last thing? Well, Senator, I want to ask you this because in 2004 when you ran for president, yes. you said we could not afford universal health care. It was not achievable and it was not responsible. You've changed dramatically on this issue. That's true and so has America. I, I proposed universal health care for children at that point. And what is, what is clear from this presidential campaign is I was the first presidential candidate. Others have followed me now, and that's a good thing, good thing for America. But I was the first presidential candidate to lay out a specific, truly universal health care plan. And the one thing I can tell you, as true. anybody who knows me, anybody who knows me knows I will never give up. What happened in 93 and 94 is we didn't get universal health care, but we got NAFTA. And when I'm President of the United States, you have my word, I will never pull the universal health care bill. I will put everything I have behind making sure that it's an act. Senator Obama, I asked Senator Clinton about experience in judgment. You have served in the U.S. Senate about 33 months. You have no landmark legislation as such that you have offered. When you were elected back in 2004, you said, quote, the notion that somehow I am going to start running for higher office it just doesn't make sense. If it didn't make sense in 2004, why does it make sense now? Because I think that the country is at a crossroads right now. And it needs uh, three things. Number one, it needs somebody who can bring the country together. And that's the kind of experience that I bring to this office. Uh, when I was in the state legislature, I was able to get people who were polar 
opposites. Uh, police officers and law enforcement working with civil rights advocates to reform a death penalty system that was broken. Bringing people together, Republicans and Democrats, to provide health insurance to people who didn't have it. That's number one. Number two, we need somebody who can take on the special interests and win. Uh, and I have consistently done that. On money and politics, in the state legislature, I passed landmark ethics legislation against not just Republicans, but also some of the leaders of my own party. I did the same thing working with Russ Feingold uh, with the ethics reform package that we passed last year. And the third thing is telling the truth to the American people even when it's tough, uh, which I did in 2002, standing up against this war at a time where it was very unpopular. And I was risking my political career because I was in the middle of a U.S. Senate race. Now, those are, I think, the kinds of experiences that people are looking for right now in this country, and that's the kind of experience I bring to bear to this race. I just want to make one last comment. I think Hillary Clinton deserves credit for having worked on health care. I think John deserves credit for his proposal. Uh, I know that you know, he feels that he put out his plan first. Uh, you know, Harry Truman put something out 60 years ago uh, uh, for universal health care. I wrote about it in a book that I wrote last year.